I've been making records for maybe eight, nine years and was looking for a studio. So I came upon a boat and I started looking at cargo ships. And one of the cargo ships I looked at was moored where the light ship was moored and uh, fell in love with it. I moved the boat up here in July 2009, which is pretty, pretty good experience. Just drinking beer and eating barbecued steak for 48 hours. This is where the original crew cabins were. This whole rear cabin was a captain's cabin um, and he'd have had a separate access onto the deck. And then back here, it was like a storage area. You can still see the, the kind of foam that we cut out and that was like literally floor to ceiling. When I bought the boat, it needed to be livable as soon as possible. so. We converted this area so it was just basic somewhere to sleep and then moved on and now I'm kind of coming back over it and making it a bit more livable. This is the kitchen. This half of it was the original galley anyway. This is the, probably the most original space there is on the boat. This has probably changed the most out of any, anywhere. The sound of the desk is more towards Neve than SSL, the two kind of major players. And this is the live room. This room lends itself to drums. I mean, it's a big room and for London, there's not so many big rooms that anybody can actually afford anymore. Uh, so this is like the biggest space on the ship, the place where people usually say, wow, I didn't realize you could get this much space on a boat. Mazes came through a recommendation by Fat Cat Records. Jack came down one day just to have a look around and have a chat. They've obviously got a, a good grasp on what they want, what they wanted out of the record and what they wanted out of who was going to work on it, and we just kind of hit it off. After we actually recorded the album, which was like 10 days, which was a long time for us, in a good way, you know, everything we'd done before was like really quick, so we'd start coming down and uh, annoying Ben whilst he mixed. Ben would be sat there completely focused and we'd be sat over there on the sofa laughing at things on YouTube. I think we all thought when we decided to do it on the boat that being on the boat might influence the music might more in see, some way. See some see yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the songs we wrote and recorded while we were here in the studio, definitely I think you can set them apart from the songs which were already written and yeah. formed before we came here. If, if you were recording in a studio in the centre of London or we were doing it ourselves, there's so many distractions and mm. we're coming down here, you know, taking the train every day and, you know, being here for a set period of time, you kind of just get on with it. I'd never really been on a boat before, so I was thinking I was going to spew up and <laughs> it'd be really embarrassing, you know, Hey, I'm here to look around. <laughs> but you don't see studios like this big anymore. Everyone just records on the computers at home, which is depressing. It was certainly a positive experience recording you guys because you know what you want to do. And 
you're a bit you're all a bit older it's nice to work with people whoa, who are... whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> cut that <laughs> so have you ever fished off the side no could you catch anything in there yeah people do really yeah. i don't know what tires yeah shopping Sh shopping shops. Tires, yeah do you see yourself staying here for a while um putting down roots so to speak yeah there's not many places that could take a boat this big and mm. I can't get past the bridges anyway. It'd be nice to stay here as well. It would. Yeah. Don't know how Bennett feel about that. I want to do a kind of party in summer for a few bands. On the deck? Yeah. Yeah. Outside. Right That'd there. be cool. That would be cool. Can we do barbecue, it? Barbecue. Massive barbecue. Yeah, of course you can. How much will you pay us? Meat and beer. I like, yeah, I like <laughs> both of those things. <laughs>